It's nice to be back. People are going to have a great time. It is an absolute beautiful day out here today, and everybody's going to come out. Hopefully, they bring a lawn chair and just enjoy family, a little picnic, and a lot of fun. No, it ain't. The Bay Area celebrates America's 245th birthday. We are just counting down to the 4th of July fireworks shows taking place across the Bay Area this Sunday night. That is where we start Cron 4 News at 8 o'clock this Sunday night. Welcome in. I'm Jonathan McCall and Justine has the night off. We hope you and your family are having a safe and fun 4th of July holiday. Tonight, Cron 4 has live team coverage of all of the fireworks shows and celebrations set to light up the night sky across the Bay Area. We are about an hour away from fireworks taking place in Concord, and that is where we find Cron 4's Gail Long live tonight talking with some of the folks there looking forward to seeing the sky light up. Gail. Yeah, Jonathan, hours away indeed. The professionals are working on the finishing touches and we got a closer look at the preparations beforehand. Pyrotechnicians are staged at the Concord Pavilion back for the annual July 4th fireworks show. It feels wonderful to be back, especially after so many years of these fun activities that we will normally have on the 4th of July here in Concord. It's wonderful that we can do something like this and have fun with community. Last year's gathering was canceled because of COVID, of course. In years past, usually everyone gathers on the lawn with live music and food vendors. This year, it's going to look different. People will be watching the fireworks drive in movie theater style from their vehicles one space apart. Concord Mayor Tim McGallion says the event took a few months to plan. People are going to see an incredible fireworks show right behind me. Starting at 9.30 tonight, we are using Pyro Spectaculars. I'm sure you've seen them at all the big events, even the one down, down in San Francisco that's going off too. It's going to be set to music, and it's going to be probably one of the best fireworks shows we've ever seen in Concord. Well, about an hour ago, the gates opened, so you see these cars right down there. Those are the guests, and this is a sold-out show, so lucky for Crown 4 viewers, we will be live-streaming this in our 9 o'clock hour like we have in years past. And, you know, I really don't mind watching fireworks on TV live in Concord. Gail Ong, Crown 4 News. Gail, what's the mood out there like tonight? We know that folks didn't get a chance to get out there last year because of the pandemic. What are folks just saying about being able to get out for this? for this event this year. Well, Jonathan, just like what we have been seeing as a the state reopens. People are just thankful for a sense of normalcy. Um, I've covered, this is my third year covering Concord's fireworks show, so it is definitely different. Uh, usually we're at a different venue. People are lined up on the lawn, marking their spot hours before the show. But this time, you see the cars, they're making it work, just like a drive-in movie theater. I see people, they're tailgating, they have barbecue down there, and they are just having a great evening with friends and family. A lot of folks definitely taking in all of these celebrations post-pandemic. Crown Force Gail Long live for us tonight in Concord. Gail, thank you.